My name is Elizabeth Oots. I'm the Director of Environment North Carolina. I also serve as the Regional Director for the Southern States within the Environment America Federation. There's sort of too many skills to name that I've gained from my uh, years of training with the Public Interest Network. Um, so I can't name them all, but there's two that I think are particularly important to this work that I'll highlight. One is, on the one hand, having an incredibly bold vision for the way the world should be, but then at the same time being able to work backwards from that vision towards a measurable result for the environment or for the betterment of the public interest. So, for example, um, you know, we want to see solar panels on every single roof in North Carolina, and we can do that. Uh, we have a vision, we have, um, you know, we've actually crunched the numbers, and we could get to 700,000 solar roofs by the end of 2030. Um, but we're not going to get there overnight, certainly, and um, we have an obligation to work incrementally towards that goal. So um, that's why we've taken that bold vision, but then worked backwards from it. And you know, in part as a result of that work, we've seen just over the last five years solar power increase by more than sixfold. The other key skill I've learned from the Public Interest Network is really setting measurable goals and then uh, making sure that we hold ourselves rigorously accountable to those goals. Um, and that's really because, you know, Environment North Carolina only exists because of the thousands of individual citizens who give us 35, 50 bucks um, to, to pay us, to stand up for the environment on their behalf. And um, I certainly want to protect the environment. I care about it deeply, but I also want to be able to tell that all the folks who um, make our work possible um, that we put their money to good use and that their membership makes a difference. The other thing that's so great about the way our trainings um, run is that we have so much experience in the room um, at any one time. And there's such a commitment at the very highest level um, of the organization to training even the newest person. I certainly remember when I was a fellow, um, you know, it was before we had fancy PowerPoints and, and whatnot, but having some of the most senior people in the organization um, draw out on the chalkboard exactly how we were going to win our next campaign was, the, was a really powerful experience.